gotten a lot of questions about this gun and kit. Uh, this is a briefcase, very James Bond-like. Open the briefcase, you've got your barrel, your free-floating handguard, and your lower and upper receiver already assembled with a magazine in the gun. So, lock the bolt back, insert the barrel, slide on the magazine tube, Called that a magazine tube, is incorrect. Before in, tighten it down, and we're ready to go. Uh, a little bit about the gun itself and the kit. The kit is called a TAC2 kit at TAC2.com. Bud's Gun Shop sells most of these. Um, I'm in no way affiliated with them, but they do a lot of online sales. Um, the grip is a Magpul MOE grip, a Magpul CTR stock. Mag pull um, trigger guard. It has a star style safety on it. And there's just a cheap BSA optic I threw on to kind of do a little bit of accuracy testing because there are no other sights. Of course, the handguard is free floated, it's chambered in 300 blackout, and it is a one and eight twist barrel. That's the only markings on the barrel. The lower is a matrix aerospace, and it also has a CMMG trigger in it. If you have any questions about it, uh, feel free to post below, email me. Um, this is a, a pretty good shooting gun. It recoils a little bit more. So this is a very lightweight barrel. Um, how this kit actually works, of course, this handguard, which comes off, has a set of threads here on the inside. And in order to take it apart, you do have to pull back, get the bolt unlocked from the lugs on the barrel pulls out. What they did is design something that goes usually around where your uh, barrel nut would for your regular free floating hand guard. And then of course your gas tube had to come off. This is a low profile gas tube held on place by two Allen screws. So if you want to switch this barrel out for a 223 that should be I don't know maybe a five or a ten minute job. Um, this collar slides in, presses against where usually your barrel nut would press. And slides in. Um, this is held in place by an Allen screw here and by tension. There's a simple A2 flash hider and there are some wear marks on the gun where basically the barrel or the bottom of the grip rubs against the handguard when it's inside. Of course there's some marks on the handle or there are some handling marks on it from where it's been taken apart and put together. Uh, the coolest feature about this gun is to take it apart put together the thing. With a little bit of practice, you can do it in about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, of course, the gun is unloaded at this point. That magazine could have been loaded just as easily. Um, goes right back into the briefcase. The stock collapsed. Sets in place. It's a place for either a longer scope or a couple other magazines. And done. Please check out my other videos. If you have any questions, post them below. Thanks for watching.